You can call it love, you can call it fear, it doesn't much matter to me. I am a married man, I can sense the disappointment. <laughs> yes ma'am, that's a joke. <laughs> There's not a girl in the world disappointed that I'm already married. Well, I'm going to take that back, there is one. Thank you, married men got that joke. Well done, sir. I got married, I was 38 years old, happy and single, 38 years. I finally met that one woman who said those six words I waited all of my life to hear. My dad owns a liquor store, is what she said. I'll tell you how I met my wife. This is a true story. I did a comedy show in a nightclub in Savannah, Georgia. She sat in the front row. She didn't laugh at a word I said. I thought to myself, if she can't make you miserable, nobody can. <laughs> And here's why she didn't laugh. As it turns out, we're opposite. We're polar opposites any topic you care to name. We're an interracial couple. Yes, we are. I'm from Kentucky, and she's not a relative. <laughs> I was just as shocked as you are, ma'am. I was just as surprised. For opposites, any topic you want to name. Taking a shower, I take a shower, the water's 94 degrees, gets me clean, gets me warm. Mrs. Klein likes to shower in a stream of molten lava. <laughs> People stop in from Pompeii. <laughs> we're opposite, physically we're opposite. You see me up here, I'm five feet, five inches tall. I weigh 151 pounds. I'm built real short and kind of squatty. My wife is a 125-pound, 5-foot, 10-inch tall, green-eyed redhead. She towers over me as the angel of death. <laughs> and I said one time, honey, does it ever bother you how much shorter I am than you are? She said, only when you can't go on the rides with me at the fair. <laughs> Now about our third date, she did ask me, why didn't my height intimidate you? And being a comic, you got to think on your feet a little bit. So I said, well, if your great beauty didn't shoo me off, what makes you think your height would? She said, keep talking, shorty, you're almost home. <laughs> I'll tell you this, I've been married for 25 years. My wife walks in the room, my heart still skips a beat. That is true. Call it love, you call it fear. It doesn't much matter to me. <laughs> Only in humans do opposites attract. Only in humans, alone among the species on the planet, do opposites cohere. What makes that possible? Two things we do. Number one, we communicate. We over-communicate, under-communicate, miscommunicate, we communicate. One of life's great lessons taught to be by my father. Sometimes knowing when to stop communicating is every bit as important as knowing when to start. An example. Every man sitting in this room tonight at one point in his life has looked into the eyes of a woman he clearly adores. And with a straight face and sincere heart, he has asked of her the following question. Honey? Are you mad? <laughs> and gentlemen, I can sure as shoot and promise you, if you have to ask, she's mad. <laughs> and now she's mad because you had to ask her if she's mad. Ever reached that point? Stop communicating. Just be quiet. And here's why. You're in a fight, you don't know it, and you've lost. <laughs>